Terrorists in Yemen have killed an American photojournalist. The killing came as U.S. Special Forces were trying to rescue him. As Daniel Nottingham reports, President Obama and other high-ranking officials have condemned the murder. U.S. officials say al-Qaeda-linked militants in Yemen killed photojournalist Luke Summers early Saturday during a U.S.-led raid to rescue him. This is a, a despicable crime. A U.S. official says the operation in southern Yemen lasted about 30 minutes, and during the mission, special forces lost the element of surprise. This video, posted on a jihadi website, purports to show the firefight that broke out once Navy SEALs were spotted. During the fight, the SEALs saw a militant run into the building where Summers and a South African teacher, Pierre Corky, were being held. When they entered, they found both had been shot. It was a very dangerous and complicated uh, mission, uh, but um, like always in these efforts, um, there is, there's risk. President Obama authorized the rescue mission Friday, believing Summers' life was in imminent danger. Thursday, al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula posted a video threatening to kill the American. The 33-year-old was kidnapped in September 2013. This was the second attempt to rescue Summers. In late November, Navy SEALs raided a cave in Yemen, but he wasn't there. President Obama strongly condemned the killing, saying those who seek to harm U.S. citizens will feel the long arm of American justice. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News. Summers and Corky were alive but gravely wounded when U.S. Special Forces reached them. They died later after receiving medical care on their way to a U.S. Navy ship. Corky was set to be released tomorrow. The charity he worked for arranged to pay for his freedom with his captors.